Hi kids, it's me, Miss Booksy, and this is Storytime at Cool School. Today we're reading chapter six of the Jungle Book. At the end of chapter five, Shere Khan was trying to defeat Mowgli, but she had just revealed that she had fire, the number one thing that all animals feared. Let's see what happens next. The Jungle Book, chapter six. Mowgli fed the fire with leaves, making the flames go higher and higher. Shere Khan yelped and covered his eyes. Aw, you're a scared little kitty now, aren't you? And you, you wolves are nothing but a bunch of dogs. I am a human, you're right. But I would have lived here forever as a wolf, happy to be with my jungle family. Now you say you want me to leave? Okay, fine, I will. But when I return, and I will return, you better hide, because I'll be stronger and smarter and I won't play with any of you. Now go away! Ah! What is this water on my face? It's coming out of my eyes. Mother, help! It's okay, Mowgli. Those are just tears. I've never felt this way. I don't want to go. Then don't. We'll miss you too much, Mowgli. No, I must. I will leave and I will come up with a plan to get rid of Shere Khan. Then I will return. The animals were so sad to see Mowgli go. I think I'm crying too. Me too, Baloo. Me too. Mowgli walked back towards the village from where she stole the fire. She was still so sad from leaving her family that she looked quite pitiful. My goodness, who are you? Mowgli knew all the languages of the jungle, but she had never learned a single human word. So when she said, hi, I'm Mowgli, it sounded like... Um... Okay, are you lost? Are you lost? Never mind, come with me. Let's get you in some proper clothes. Well, wouldn't you know, this is the exact house I got that fire from, <laughs> small world. <laughs> the lady called the police. They came and asked me some questions. What's your name? Your name. Your name is your name? Your name is your name? Poor girl, she needs a home. She can stay with me. Finally, they just decided I could stay and belong to the nice lady. <laughs> a new human mother already. Things were moving fast. <laughs> I also got a new brother. Remember him? Ah! He got used to me eventually. <laughs> and sometimes he was fun. Oh, I almost forgot. They also gave me some new clothes. Ah! Oh. Much better. <laughs> At bedtime, they showed me to a soft, squishy thing called a bed. It was kind of comfy, but I couldn't see the stars. So I climbed out the window to sleep on the grass. <laughs> the bed was fun to jump on, though. Mom! Mowgli's jumping on the bed! He was a bit of a tattletale, though. One night, when I was sleeping under the stars, my wolf brother came to me. I thought it was a dream but then he licked my face. Wolf slobber, yuck. <laughs> You're real. Of course I'm real. How's the human thing going? It's okay. I really miss you guys though. We miss you too. Aw, I wish they were here too. I also came to tell you that Shere Khan is talking about revenge. So watch your back. He wouldn't dare come to the people village. Just be careful, okay? I will. Good night, Mowgli. Good night, great brother. One really crummy thing about being a human is they have all kinds of work to do. When I was in the jungle, I could just lie around, sing songs, eat honey, chase bugs, anything I could think of. But here, they gave me cow duty. Hmm. That meant I took care of the cows, which was easy, but kind of boring. And I couldn't pick up their language, so it got pretty lonely. Ooh, what? What are you talking about? I give up. Oh. oh, I did learn the entire human language, though. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, how many peppers did Peter Piper pick? Impressive, right? <laughs> anyway, one day I was herding the cows by the edge of the village when I thought I saw something in the bushes. <gasps> Mother Wolf, I'm so happy to see you. Shh. I'm happy to see you too, but I came to tell you that Shere Khan and Tabaki are coming. No way! Yes way. They're going to lay low until nightfall, when you come to sleep out on the grass. He's been spying on me. What's he doing now? 
he's sleeping. Did he eat breakfast? Yes, a large one. Silly tiger. Everyone knows that when Shere Khan eats, his belly gets so full, he can barely move. Exactly. That's how we'll get him. Mowgli and Mother Wolf talk through the plan, step by step. Do you really think we could do it? Baby girl, we got this. It all sounded like a great plan, but Mowgli's new little brother was nearby and he didn't like what he saw. His new sister talking to a wolf? I'm telling mom. But there was another, even more annoying eavesdropper on their conversation. They think they can beat us? A mommy and her little girl? Please. <laughs> Uh-oh, kids! Tabaki heard everything! Do you think Mowgli and Mother Wolf will defeat Shere Khan? Tell me what you think will happen next in Chapter 7! Click right here to watch more stories, and click here to subscribe! See you soon, kids! Bye!